How to make a ninja impact smoke bomb. Impact smoke bombs are no joke. You should only handle them if you're prepared to handle hazardous materials like black powder. For good fun and mischief, these will work in a similar way they do in the movies. There are different degrees of impact smoke bombs, so pick the bomb that's on your comfort level. Creating an impact smoke bomb. Gather the supplies. This filling can also be used as a standard smoke bomb by attaching a fuse. You'll need a digital scale, KNO3 potassium nitrate, powdered sugar, gloves, popsicle sticks or other stirring sticks, and a durable beaker. You will also need something to mold the liquefied powders like a cardboard tube from a roll of paper towels. KNO3 can be found at larger hardware stores. If you're having trouble you could also look at hobbyist shops or online. A label equals, link to reference to, greater than the best gloves for this type of project would be rubber gloves. Wear protective eyewear and cover up your skin. These precautions are most important when you heat up the chemicals. Wear thick rubber gloves as well. You will also need the following supplies for the casing. Paper toy caps, an exacto knife, tape, and black powder. Paper caps are the ammo used for toy cap guns. Black powder or gunpowder can be found at most sporting stores that sell guns. If you're having trouble, look online. You will also need something to mold the liquefied powders like a cardboard tube from a roll of paper towels. KNO3 can be found at larger hardware stores. If you're having trouble you could also look at hobbyist shops or online. The best gloves for this type of project would be rubber gloves, wear protective eyewear and cover up your skin. These precautions are most important when you heat up the chemicals. Wear thick rubber gloves as well. You'll also need the following supplies for the casing. Paper toy caps, an exacto knife, tape, and black powder. Paper caps are the ammo used for toy cap guns. Black powder or gunpowder can be found at most sporting stores that sell guns. If you're having trouble, look online. Measure out the powders. Use 70 grams 2.5 ounces of KNO3 and 30 grams of sugar. After weighing the powders dump them into the beaker and mix well. Heat the mixture. Use a hot plate on medium-low heat. Wear your gloves and stir frequently to avoid the compound from burning. Continue heating and stirring until the mixture liquefies and turns a tan brown color. Beware of burning. If you are not careful the mixture could burn and go up in smoke. Transfer to a casing. Transfer the liquefied mixture into the casing of your choice. Use something small so you can use the smoke bombs on the fly. The best type of case is something you can easily remove once the mixture has set, like a quarter of a cardboard toilet roll. You could also use a film cartridge, like the type you send into a photo center. Allow the mixture to harden. Give the mixture a few hours to settle. If you are feeling extra cautious, place the container into the fridge or freezer. This mix should take a little over an hour to cool in your freezer. Layer the caps. Place a small piece of tape on the edge of the cap and attach it to the top of the KNO3 blob. Then wrap the outside of the hardened mixture with the caps. Seal the caps together with tape once the surface is fully covered. Prepare the black powder. Cut two strips of tape slightly larger than the KNO3. Lie one strip perpendicularly over the first piece of tape creating a cross. Do this with the adhesive sides facing up. Shake the black powder over the tape cross. Try to leave the outer edge of the tape clear. Wrap the tape. Now that you have prepared the tape cross with black powder, it's time to finish the job. Take the KNO3 coated in toy caps and wrap it in the cross. The cross should fit onto the bomb in an easy fashion. Once you smooth out all the air bubbles, you're all finished. Throw the smoke bomb outside, using force, onto a hard surface like cement.